Happy Saturday to you. My name is Dr. Jennifer Jewell, the Director of the School of Social Work at Salisbury University, and I'm here to welcome you as we celebrate our dynamic, creative, intelligent, compassionate, analytical, and justice-minded graduates and scholars. Some of you are being recognized today because you received a scholarship, and the majority of you are being recognized because you reached the finish line of your degree. What outstanding accomplishments. Last year at this time, there were so many unknowns with the pandemic. And it was likely a terrifying and overwhelming time. I know it was for me. But for you, you either decided to continue on with your educational journey or you began an academic program all while managing under COVID restrictions that impacted all areas of our lives. Completing a rigorous program with a lengthy field placement requirement is hard enough, but then add on a global pandemic and you are reaching superhero status. And over 700 students have done that this year and over 300 of them are graduating with either their bachelor's of arts or master's in social work. That is amazing. You are amazing. The School of Social Work has been educating social work students for over 45 years. Social workers that have gone on to change our world in both small and significant ways. You will be among our graduates. You will be among the ones that we call social work scholars. You are entering the profession at an extraordinary time. And we are so excited that you started your educational journey with the School of Social Work. I wanna congratulate you on your accomplishments and hope that you will remember to thank your family and friends who have supported you along the way. None of us have gotten here entirely on our own. Be proud of your achievements, the knowledge and skills that you have built as a student within the School of Social Work, which we are celebrating today. It's important as you go out into the work world or whatever your next step is, that you do not forget those who have impacted inspired and mentored you along your path. As you continue on your academic journey or move forward after graduation with your lives and careers, I encourage you to cultivate and maintain the relationships with your faculty, advisors, and other social work students. They are and can be a part of your social capital, the networks and relationships that really can be used in the future when thinking about your next professional or academic step. These relationships are important. This spring and summer, we have over 300 BASW and MSW students graduating. And many of you are with, with us today celebrating. Again, congratulations to both our scholarship recipients and to our many graduating social work students you too will change our world. And we are immensely proud of your accomplishments and for being a part of your educational journey. Now I'd like to introduce um, Dr. Dean, Dr. and Dean Kelly Fiala. She is the Dean of the College of Health and Human Services and followed by her, Dr. Charles White, president of Salisbury University, bringing you social work students, greetings and congratulations. To our School of Social Work graduates, congratulations. You have a lot to celebrate. You have inspired your professors and fellow students, and you have become part of Salisbury University's DNA. Whether you're earning your bachelor's or master's degree, it will aid you in pursuing a career filled with meaning, action, diversity, satisfaction, and an abundance of options. You may be working in hospitals, assisting medical personnel, 
providing mental health counseling, leading drug and alcohol rehabilitation, or helping juvenile offenders, the elderly, or foster children. Your contributions to society are more important than ever. You have chosen a profession to help people solve problems and face crises. The past year has probably given you very real experiences. You and your classmates will be known for your unwavering resilience, intelligence, and perseverance. You have the compassion and resolve to take our world in new and better directions. These are extraordinary times, and you are extraordinary graduates. As you take the next step in your life's journey, know that your Seagull family is with you. You may have joined us from a satellite campus or even as far away as Germany, but now you have over 55,000 alumni ready to welcome and support you. You can always count on us. Class of 2021, we are proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes. Hello, my name is Kelly Fiala, and I'm the Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. I know we've all experienced a lot of emotions over this past year, as we've faced challenging times and suffered great loss. But today, I'm overcome with pride and gratitude. First and foremost, I couldn't be more proud of the class of 2021. Congratulations, you did it. I'm sure there were times when you wondered if you can meet all of the challenges. I know our faculty have high standards, but they do it to push you to be your very best and to make sure you are well prepared to enter the field. We take a lot of pride in our program and outcomes, like a high pass rate on licensure exam and postgraduate career placements. To maintain a strong program, the expectations for each of you were high but you have risen to meet them at every turn, from the admissions process to the difficult coursework and intense field experiences. Over the course of the last few years, we have experienced some very slow days, but as a whole, time has flown by. Please take a few moments to reflect on all of your accomplishments. We are so very proud of you. Today, I'm also filled with gratitude. I am grateful for the support you received from your family and friends to complete your degree and enter the field. I am thankful for our resilient faculty and staff committed to providing a quality education while adapting to new learning environments. Most of all, I am thankful for you. Today marks the day that you honored your commitment to pursue a service profession, and this has happened at a time when you could have easily made a different choice. I'm not happy that we have experienced this, hopefully once in a lifetime pandemic, coupled with many other significant social issues, but I am grateful for your perseverance and willingness to serve. Today, we celebrate the heart of this successful program that isn't quantifiable like pass rates. Today, we celebrate you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, my name is Dr. Mary Hilton. I'm the chair of the graduate program at Social Work at Salisbury University. It is my privilege today to share a bit of the meaning and history behind academic coding. Academic coding recognizes the academic accomplishments of master's and doctoral degree candidates. Originating from the clerical robes of medieval colleges in Europe, the hood signifies the degree achieved by the wearer. The master's hood is worn around the neck and drapes midway down the wearer's back. A wide velvet trim indicates the academic area in which the wearer has attained their degree. For social work, this trim is citron in color. The satin that lines the inside of the hood reflects the institution from which the degree was attained. For you, that satin will be maroon and gold, reflecting your accomplishments here at Salisbury University. At the doctoral level, the, the velvet trim may signify either the degree or the university colors from which the degree was earned. A blue trim represents a PhD. The hood is a piece of the academic regalia, which also includes the tassel, the hat, and the robes. 
These are traditionally worn at commencement ceremonies across the United States. The hooding ceremony celebrates the completion of a graduate degree. Within social work, the hooding ceremony serves as recognition of degree completion as well as a formal welcoming into the profession. Hooding ceremonies may occur during commencement ceremonies or at graduation celebrations such as this one. During a hooding ceremony, a faculty member places the hood over the head of the graduate, signifying their success in completing a degree. Today, through this virtual hooding ceremony, we celebrate you, the students who have successfully completed the Master's of Social Work degree, and we welcome you officially into the profession of social work. This has been an unusual and, for many, challenging year, yet you persevered. Congratulations, MSW Class of 2021, and congratulations, BS BASW Class of 2021. Enjoy your accomplishments. We know that you'll make a difference in the lives of the people and the communities you serve.
Hello, everyone. I'd like to start by taking a moment to say thank you for joining us and participating in our spring celebration today. My name is Savannah Ott, and I am both honored and privileged to have received the title of MSW Student of the Year from the School of Social Work at Salisbury University. In anticipation of the upcoming graduation of my undergraduate class, staff from Salisbury University presented their school and their program to my peers and I as a local option for pursuing a master's degree in social work. This conversation and presentation originally sparked my interest, which led to the exploration of this university and their affordable and flexible options to earn my master's degree based on a schedule that could accommodate my unique needs. As a non-traditional student, faced with non-traditional and unexpected circumstances, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, I was especially drawn to the opportunity to earn my master's degree through the program's online option which allowed me to continue working two jobs to support myself while simultaneously pursuing my master's degree. Even in the midst of unprecedented adversity and online learning, I was able to quickly sense that I was part of a community. The engagement of and connections between staff at the university and students was fostered by the use of video and audio introductions, presentations, and discussions, which allowed us to see hear and build relationships with one another throughout this process, rather than going through it alone and just reading text from a screen. An integral part of my education at Salisbury University was the opportunity to complete a field practicing experience at a local social service agency in my community. This program fostered both my personal and professional development as I learned how to translate the knowledge and skills I had obtained through my classes into hands-on direct social work practice. I was immersed in a supportive education-focused environment that enabled me to develop the knowledge, skills, values, ethics, and motivations necessary to be able to advocate for and on behalf of diverse individuals and client populations both within and among the micro, meso, and macro levels of social work practice. Through both the classroom and community environments, I was encouraged to and engaged in opportunities to identify and accomplish goals, develop personal and professional rapport, explore resources, and utilize both individual and collective strengths to accomplish these and other tasks. Halfway through my field practicum experience, I was offered an employment opportunity at the agency, which I accepted and thus was able to start my career as a social work practitioner. It is a bittersweet transition from an active Salisbury Seagull to an alum, but I am so grateful to be recognized for and have the opportunity to share these achievements and experiences as I embrace the next chapter of my life and my career. Lastly, I would like to say thank you to those who have supported, inspired, and challenged me throughout this process, especially my friends and my family, as well as the academic personnel at Salisbury University. I would also like to thank my professional colleagues and supervisors in my community for their guidance, encouragement, and support, as well as their commitment to a collaborative approach to success. This milestone will be cherished as an essential part of my life, and these experiences will continue to motivate me for the rest of my future as a student, a professional, and an individual. Thank you.
congratulations to the class of 2021 from the Disability Resource Center and a special congratulations to our very first social work intern, Emily Snap. We're so proud of you and good luck in all your future endeavors. Best wishes. Congratulations. You did it. Finally, you did it. And here's what I wish to you, a little message that a nine-year-old left on all the doors in the social work school and said, be more, of all the things you can be, be more kind, which I know you'll be to other people, but please be more kind to yourself. I wish you that and lots of good luck. Bravo. <laughs> Schiolini, arrivederci. Congratulations, Salisbury University School of Social Work, scholarship winners and graduating BASW and MSW students. We are so proud of all of your accomplishments and wish you the very best in your future social work careers. Hello, students. It's Dr. Owens King here. I want to just give you all and express my congratulations to all of you who are graduating. I want to send a special shout out to my NIA students and my CUS students who are graduating. You have persisted. You have uh, completed the task and you are now here at graduation. I am so proud of you. Please uh, be sure to give yourself a big pat on the back and also express your gratitude to the people who helped get you here. We, didn't, we don't achieve on our own. We achieve with the support of our family members, our loved ones, and our friends. So enjoy this graduation. I'm so proud of you. You are now alumni of Salisbury University School of Social Work. Congratulations. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Schaefer Salins, and I just wanted to send my congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the BASW graduates, the MSW graduates, the scholarship winners, the School of Social Work award winners. Um, congratulations to those that are going on to get their master's, going on to get jobs. Um, 20. 20 and 2021 has been a very strange year and you still did it. And I'm, I'm, I, I send my heartfelt congratulations to all. It's a very exciting time and I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavor. Christina's video, take six. Good job, Christina! <laughs> Brianna, you are such a blessing and have been so incredibly wonderful to know. Always hold on to your smile, your desire to learn and positive energy. You will go so far. Thank you for all you've done and for being you. Congratulations to all of you graduating today. For those with whom I've worked, it's been a real pleasure to see your growth and skill and knowledge. I wish you the very best in all of your future endeavors. <music>Destiny, we're so proud of you, and we can't wait to see all that you do in the future. So excited for you. Hi, Mishi. It has been great working with you over the past several months. You have been a wonderful addition to our team. It has been such an honor to watch you learn and grow, and I wish you nothing but the best for the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. Whether you are continuing with your education or you're starting your amazing social work careers, I wish you the very best. Hi, Montana. Congratulations to you and your fellow classmates. You guys have worked hard. Um, so now go out there and do your thing. Angela, you made it. Congratulations on your graduation. Savor each and every moment. It is a very special time in your life. As you become a full-fledged social worker, remember to keep the laughter going. And if you have a hard time laughing, just remember the April Fool's Day joke that I played on you. You were an awesome sauce intern, and you will be an awesome social worker. Congratulations. Marissa Levin, congratulations. Everyone here at Faith House is so excited for you. So excited and thrilled to see what God has in store for you in this next chapter of your life. And we are so grateful that you allowed us to share a little bit of your journey on the way there. So thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Congratulations, build a better future.
Greetings, I'm Professor Jim Forte, Chair of the School of Social Work Scholarship Committee. Without a scholarship to Regis High School and to Fordham University, I would probably not be here today. I know that they are hard to obtain, and I know that they make a difference. But no, Dr. Fauci, another graduate of Regis, isn't one of my buddies. I wish. Our SU community includes two very special people, Charles and Barbara Emery. The Emerys created a scholarship in 2005 in memory of their son and to affirm caring and dedicated professional social workers like those who helped the Emery family so well. In the recent 15 years, the Emerys have awarded the annual scholarship to 37 different undergraduate social work students. The scholarship money funds one student per year. However, in 12 of these 15 years, the Emerys have awarded the scholarship to two to five students, and they made up the difference from their own funds. Charles and Barbara tell the student candidates that the scholarship is their way to invest in social workers and to multiply their own efforts to do good deeds significantly. Charles and Barbara give so generously, and I know that our Stephen Michael Emery and Paul Porter Emery scholarship recipients will work hard to ensure that the Emerys earn an impressive return on their investment. The Emerys have reached a new level of generosity this spring in giving this 16th year and awarded six scholarships. The recipients of the Fall Spring 21 Emory Scholarship are Chinua Josh Arins, Nathaniel Brower, Kelly McCollican, Alexandra Metrell, William Curtis Paul, and Carrie Price. The Scholarship Committee, Hagerstown Site Coordinator Ann Schillingworth Schaefer, Professor Ellen Schaefer Salins, Professor Heather Deal, and me also oversees the selection of recipients for the three other scholarships. Go to SU Academic Works to see the full description of these scholarships and our selection criteria. The scholarships and recipients are for the Amy Stoops Rhodes Memorial Scholarship, Jasmine Brown. For the Ann and John Gilhaney Scholarship, Crystal Draper. For the Mannion Scholarship Endowment, Melody Baumgardner. Our deep thanks to our benefactors and our hearty congratulations to the scholarship recipients. You have overcome adversity in the past and you will represent Salisbury University and the profession of social work with distinction in the future. Well done. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mark Schaefer. I'm here with Sergeant Olisa Umeka of the United States Army and the School of Social Work. And today we wanna to just celebrate all of our students who are active military or veterans uh, of the armed services and last year we had coins commissioned, military challenge coins that you can see. It's a little hard to see, but I'll flip it over. And these are designed just for a tradition that's part of military culture in all of the branches of service and other organizations where a military challenge coin uh, designates the organization and is given for many different reasons, but in this case, in recognition of service and achievement. And so we are so happy to give those to all of our graduating veterans and uh, active duty service members who are also graduating from one of our programs. So today I'm so lucky that uh, Olisa has been willing to stand in, in person, even though we have to do the COVID requirements and accept this coin on behalf of the School of Social Work. So, Elisa, I give you this coin. Thank you for your service. You've been a real leader, and we are so glad that you have chosen Salisbury University School of Social Work. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, this was a journey that started while I was still in Europe. So, again, this is me uh, representing uh, the students in the Europe campus. And um, I had to move down here to actually see the campus and you know, I was impressed, impressed with the School of Social Work and it's been a journey so far. For us who are graduating, congratulations to us. It's been a tough year, especially with the pandemic and all. And um, we can only get better. So I wanna say thank you to School of Social Work. Thank you for the coin and um, 
good luck in all our endeavors. Thank you. All right. Students, it's spring 2021. You made it, you did it. Congratulations and best wishes. Hello, my name is Dr. Venable, and I just wanted to say congratulations to all of the graduates from the School of Social Work. Uh, this year, um, you all have done an amazing job. You've worked so hard. Um, so congratulations, all of our undergraduate students and our graduate students who are completing this year. I know you're gonna go on to do great things in our profession. So well wishes and many congratulations to both you and your family. Hi, it's Jennifer Fitzpatrick with Generations, and I want to congratulate all of you social work students on your graduation, and especially Hannah Parker and Razia Cooper. We're so proud of you, and thanks for all the hard work you did during your internship. Hey, MSW and BASW graduates, it's Dr. Anthony. I just wanted to take a minute to say that I miss you all. And I'm really, really proud of you. Congratulations on your graduation. I can't wait to celebrate in person with all of you. And I wanna wish you well on your social work journey. Hi, class of 2021. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Today is your day. Here's to your exciting new future. Wishing you all the best. Remember, we are social workers. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021, from all of us at Bester Community of Hope in Hagerstown. Hello, everyone. Dr. Mark Schaefer, congratulations on graduating. It took a lot to get to this point, but here you are and way to go. I'm also reminded that this is of sorts a beginning after much work that you've done to go into even more work because we are a profession and we are a profession that is interested in helping and supporting and empowering people. Jane Adams said, nothing could be worse than the fear that one had given up too soon and left one unexpected effort that might have saved the world. Who knows where your career will take you and what you will do, but never forget that your ideas are important and just because it hasn't been done that way before doesn't mean that it can't be done that way going forward. And that's how you're going to keep working and keep focusing on the things that people go through and the agencies and organizations that you're going to be part of. And you're going to be a significant part of the change process. Congratulations again and stay in touch. Congratulations, Carissa. You are a welcome addition to the profession of social work. My grandmother, who began a successful career as a nurse in her 50s, wanted someone to become the first doctor in the extended Forte family. When I was overwhelmed and considered dropping out from school, she visited me in a dream and offered in encouragement. I continued, you have worked very hard and earned this exceptional distinction. Some of your loved ones, children, spouses, or partners, siblings, friends, and maybe grandparents supported you and helped make this achievement possible too. Credit and congratulations to you and to them. Well done, or lavoro ben fatto in Italian, from Dr. Jim Forte. Hey, this is Margaret Sebastian. I am the program director for the TRIO Student Support Services Program here at Salisbury. I just wanna say congratulations to Frida's Jobo. Um, she's been a great intern for us and I'm glad that we had her this year. Hi Jordan, congratulations. You are amazing. I am going to miss you greatly and so are all the kids and families that you have worked with. You were such an asset to Maple Shade and I'm so glad you chose the field of social work. Hi graduates, I'm so excited to be coming to you from Hagerstown, Maryland, uh, one of your satellite locations. And I am so very happy that even though we have struggled through the last three semesters um, with COVID and the pandemic, that I've had the opportunity to meet many of you that I might not have met um, if I was typically here 
at our site location. So I appreciate that and I appreciate you. I am so happy that you are graduating. Always remember that you are a social worker, you are a professional, and you have been trained professionally. Um, and I'm excited that we're colleagues now. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful um, graduation and celebrate. And keep me posted on your updates for work. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Heather Deal and I'm a clinical assistant professor in the School of Social Work. What a wonderful day this has been. I'd like to take this opportunity to say on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration in the School of Social Work at Salisbury University, congratulations. Congratulations to our scholars and congratulations to our graduates. And I'd like to say a special thank you to the family and friends who have supported the graduates over the last years while they pursued their academic goals which has culminated in this amazing day. Thank you so much to our speakers, President White and Dean Fiala, our School of Social Work faculty, and to our student speakers, Jasmine Lloyd and Savannah Ott. Graduates, before we end today's ceremony and you begin the next steps of your journey, studying for your licensing exam, applying for jobs, and hopefully some much needed self-care, I'd like to ask you to go back in time Go back to the period in your lives before you began this academic journey. Take a moment and reflect upon what brought you into this field, which was no doubt a call to service to care compassionately for others. Your journey to this point may have likely begun because at some point in your life, you had a positive interaction or a relationship with just one social worker. This social worker may have been someone who helped you in school, someone who comforted your family at a time of loss or grief, or someone who helped you or your family obtain much needed resources to get through hard times. So while your call to this profession may be because of one person, you are leaving the ceremony today, a social worker who will, who will be that one protective factor that will help build the resiliency of potentially thousands of lives of clients throughout your career. I'm going to end now with a quote from Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa, who was a social rights activist. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived, it is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. What a great time to be a social worker. You are needed. The ceremony has ended, you have succeeded. Have a wonderful day and congratulations.